Yeah, we're gonna be going over this uh, paper today. Well, actually, not gonna be reading it. As the title suggests, it has the uh, data associ associated with it. So we're gonna be looking at it. It's a large uh, data set and this many patients and they did uh, all these uh, tasks while having um, electrodes uh, implanted so we'll be looking at this data set seeing what we can uh, do in terms of a uh, flask application uh, displaying and processing the data etc yeah we popped in uh, 30,000 tokens of stuff uh, into GPT-4 let's just read this we are developing this Flask application to give us or need short uh, responses. We will uh, need to fix the code to actually fetch data from a locally stored uh, dataset, which I already uploaded the structure of the files. Can you do that? Now, generally, we will primarily like to rely on the front end and use the uh, back end only if absolutely necessary. We would like to load some of the data files. We might start from the motor basic or if you can uh, from the table uploaded uh, tell which task was done by most patients. But anyway, we will either start from uh, fixation power law, which I don't know what it is. I have to, uh, can you look up in the document and explain uh, what the different tasks uh, are, primarily focusing on the uh, motor basic, uh, considering that that seemed to be the one that was done by most patients. We we are not uploading data set. I'm saying it's uh, stored uh, locally. But I did upload the file structure for the data set. Here it is again. And we would like to update this uh, Flask uh, script, Python script, to load the data from uh, starting from motor basic. Also, could you explain the motor basic data set? Uh, yeah, I'll have to sort out uh, how we accessing the data set. It's not generating any code. So eventually all this, there's some uh, MATLAB examples of how to load the data. We'll need to convert those into Python. We'll see if uh, GPT can do it test at all. Uh, we don't have MATLAB to do, uh, to test uh, side by side. That should be okay because we just essentially develop the code from scratch. Now there's always the main question is who is gonna who is gonna write the code? Uh, is it GPT-4 in the OpenAI interface or GitHub Copilot? in uh, Visual Studio Code. I suggest we do both. But whatever we currently have is not running. The subjects, right, so the subjects are, uh, have those uh, IDs like BP. So we did get that uh, correctly. I don't know if the interface, yeah, we'll see the interface if we uh, potentially doing something like uh, selecting which subject and which task we want to look at alternatively it's probably they're probably going to be very different anyway uh, so not sure if the tasks uh, would be comparable at all i wonder if you can just follow instructions and tell me which tasks out of the following table was performed by most of the patients also from the following document uh, we need to be clear what each task is uh, and try for example figure out if uh, we should be comparing the eeg recorded 
uh, between tasks or it it would want would not be a valid comparison so we be only looking within uh, each uh, task individually the text below should have all the details well not all of them it has uh, i think it just has an overview of the tasks uh, in general because then there are there is data specific to each uh, task so we have a uh, github copilot uh, generating some stuff for us as well it's already suggesting using a model i think it's too early for that hopefully we'll get there soon yeah we had that os that uh, will be required no why we are uh, loading a model already yeah gpt4 is trying to execute stuff on its own server that's obviously well first not going to work second i need the code to be running locally anyway and as i said the data set is only available locally i don't think there's point uploading it yes yeah, so maybe if we can stop uh, trying to execute things on the open ai server that will be great now we had have a uh, git uh, running locally as well so we're monitoring uh, changes so in theory when we change the file it should have all those uh, it should have all these modified non-modified sections yeah we don't have a model at the moment it might be too early to load any models anyway yeah i'm not sure what is it trying to predict already let's load the data display the data first and go from there yeah, it's obviously struggling to run stuff on the server that's not true <laughs> Uh, yeah can you stop giving me generic stuff we're actually trying to so we are live streaming at the moment you are co-hosting a youtube channel uh, we are developing this code that will by the end of this session load data displayed a uh, compare within or between tasks we want to see uh, which comparison is more viable so can you actually look at the specifics of this data set i uh, you should have access to all the necessary information and we want to start um, developing the code but uh, make sure you just generate the code as text i will run it locally myself yes the data set is stored uh, locally yep the theory side by should be able to load the uh, matlab files let's even see that's uh, a correct or not so we have a json buying message that data loaded successfully well yeah, we don't want to do the predict. We do the prediction later, and it shouldn't be even working at all at the moment. You can just probably comment it out. Let's try and print the data. Let's actually give it a name. Now that's okay. Okay, so this is what we currently have: just a text uh, description of the whole thing, obviously. We want to turn it into interactive tool whatever dashboard whatever other names you want to use that's fine let's clear that let me run it again so currently we don't uh, have anything to call um I need to call this root we need to load the data yeah that's the base path that's correct yeah that should be correct now we hey we need to update the javascript now we're not uploading any files we are not uploading any files the data is stored uh, locally so if the backend is uh, uploading it 
we would like to display it using JavaScript. So how do we update the JavaScript code and the HTML? This will probably have to be so fetching data. And yes, we need to update uh, HTML as well. Wait, that was the HTML. We have that element that we, okay, we can do that. HTML will have a dot uh, ID. So we have a header already title. Why do we have two titles? And keep the second one should be fine. Get rid of that header in the body. So yes, yeah, so we'll have the, um, so it will be like a blog, but um, an uh, interactive uh, blog. So the interaction will come first. So we'll place this. Do I have a data, data ID? Why do I have it twice? I don't know. But in JavaScript, get element data, JSON. Yeah, it feels like I was in the console. I have an error of some sort. Load data subject giving me an error. So that will be a JavaScript issue. Yes, so we need to figure out how to update the HTML dynamically based on the data fetched from the Flask backend using JavaScript. Yeah, I don't like when it's uh, referencing only what's uh, where the current uh, mouse is. Create element P, why? Uh, that doesn't sound legit. But currently we don't have anything working, so might as well. Okay. We need the actual structure. Yes, yeah, so let's go red. How about we just list the patients and the tasks? Uh, how about we fetch the list of uh, patients and the tasks names and uh, on the HTML on the front panel and uh, let uh, give an option to select uh, patient and task and we'll go from there. Populate the drop down, that's right. Okay, so in JavaScript, that is the window on load. And that didn't work. Bum, 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 bum. That didn't work. Yeah, load data. So, how do we update the backend to actually retrieve? The, all the names uh, of the IDs of the patients and the names of the tasks and so we can populate the front end. don't think that will work. Uh, how to uh, show all the files and the sub in all subfolders in the terminal. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Yeah, it is a fairly large uh, data set would be really testing right so a lot of the has a lot of uh, matlab uh, script from m and e yeah downloaded the beast let's <laughs> pop it into the tokenizer 39,000 well it should be okay up to 128,000 of someone's uh, thesis as well and what did we modify so far yeah we have the index html the python code and the script js yeah, it's kind of refusing to look at uh, the files anyway so even even if you have a very long prompt at the uh, it's not necessarily looking at uh, all the information. It's just trying to find what's uh, relevant to the question at hand. Uh, can we change the code? So we actually load the data based on how it's uh, locally stored. So on the front panel, we have a drop down to select um, to select the patient ID 
uh, once you have the patient ID, you have uh, you should um, update the code should update the tasks that were performed by that specific patient and then we have the drop down for the task that should be again updated for each patient and then we display the data somehow so we want to do all that we gotta right so this is interesting let's see how long how many tokens we have in this prompt is only 43,000 the model uh, should be able to take 128,000 so what's up with that what's up with that and it's actually happened it's only happening uh, recently the message is too long please reload the conversation blah 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 um okay let's start a new uh, gpt4 chat let's see if it works then yeah only 43,000 tokens no that's odd isn't it let's try 3.5 for a sec because how is it too long that's your tokenizer it says 43 tokens and your model should be accepting 128,000 128,000 tokens like yeah it wouldn't even tell you how long like how much longer is it than uh, necessary that's a pickle isn't it did the ceo get kicked out of the company again can anyone else try it that would be great is it only for the still using apis i mean they're all 128 anyway except so was they like downgraded okay i actually didn't see that so that's preview version am i using preview and check something oh come on that's stuck that's something wrong what model is being used and uh, how many what's the maximum number of tokens in each uh, prompt that will be accepted yep yep what where is the 4096 coming from <laughs> unusual are you sure about the number of tokens for the current model it's actually <laughs> uh, it's actually lower <laughs> um but, but, but this is not updated stuff is it i was just thinking mm, yeah the speech edition is nice yeah that those voices are really good <laughs> this is wrong uh clear and uh, so this is actually wrong information can you browse for more updated uh, info on the number of tokens this model accepts yep yeah because gpt4 can browse so it's actually it should be able to it keeps giving different yeah this is more like it 32,000. it's fine it's just giving um, a link that is uh, not a uh, open ai which is odd uh, I haven't used the API before, supposedly would mean that the API can you browse for official information from openai.com a check for the current token limit for GPT-4 accessed through the chat OpenAI yeah, let's uh, split it up yeah, we still want to do yeah this one has uh, 40 so this is the structure of the whole data set uh, let's see if it can handle that so can it do just yeah it cannot 25,000 yes we can do about half of that and um, where was it still 
as far as I'm concerned, seven hundred twenty-eight thousand on the. So that's a preview, some sort of preview. Am I using that? I guess the previews on the um, available via API is it? I don't know. Why do we have a say a Mac OS uh, folder? Let me just um, yeah, we have this table that should this table should be fairly straightforward, is it? Question: Do we have it in the file? Uh, yeah, we have this PDF, but do we have it as um, patient task table? Yes, yeah, so supposedly there are this uh, low resolution um, MRI images as well. Uh, we probably won't touch them for now. Yeah, the MATLAB script is like from 2012, 2015, some of it. Yeah, there's this PhD thesis by Mila. Supposedly where the electrodes are located. Yeah, that's the general overview. Yeah, it will be. Um, yeah, so essentially what we're trying to do is in the uh, interactive with Flask application uh, version of this, where we can load the, the data um see the task timing so when when they were doing what so essentially have one of those uh, yeah we're not going into that right so this is possibly where the pa the patient is uh, looking at faces or houses and that's the difference uh, between uh, the ball the mri functional mri so is the functional mri data is there as well I uh, don't think so. So some of the tasks uh, supposedly were performed uh, while like simultaneously. That's something we need to figure out. How many tokens is this whole at uh, 20? So I'm pretty sure we were able to handle 20 before i think it uh, i suspect it's downgraded me to a different model right so it can deal with twenty thousand tokens let's read that quickly yeah not hoarding data is a great idea for uh, researchers okay so we have these 16 tasks yeah let's go over them quickly okay we have to see uh, we actually extract the data. Okay, so in the folder for this, uh, yeah, we have 22. So 20 folders. Yeah, let's just focus on a specific task. Uh, from the paper, which task had the most uh, significant response in the recorded signals? Also, can you check if the functional MRI is available in this data set? Probably not. Yes, obviously you need to select the patient that uh, had the electrode grid over the relevant area for the task. Uh, you would assume that the uh, irrelevant positioning of the electrode uh, resulted in uh, the patient patients certain patients not doing certain tasks is that correct now this is the description for the first uploaded image and this is a description for the second uploaded image now can you answer the question again uh, supposedly these tasks uh, had the, the largest uh, response in the signal between uh, um you know during the task there was a highly significant uh, difference in the recorded signal can we go over this okay so maybe it doesn't make uh, actually sense to uh, give an option to select the patient and a data set we'll just uh, let's just focus on a specific data set so I'm still trying to figure out which one is uh, better to use. We have the 
visual search or the faces versus houses, which uh, yeah, it sounds like a classic uh, fMRI study. But yes, obviously in this case, uh, the patient also had the electrodes. I'm wondering how the electrodes managed within the MRI scanner, or was it uh, recorded separately or something? Yeah, in theory, I don't know. It, 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 it is possible that these arrays are MRI compatible. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't like, I don't particularly like the motor tasks because uh, well, they potentially induce uh, noise, uh, motion artifacts. Yes, yeah, so the number of subjects. Uh, so most subjects, uh, yeah, did the fixation uh, power law task was performed by the patient as they stared at the two to three minutes at an X on the ball three meter away. That were examined for power law structure. And who did the face uh, random order? Those blank screen patients upside down house. Yes, yeah, so this, yeah, the face is basic. It might be a good one to look at. I mean, it had less uh, patients in it, but uh, it's a clearer task. So they were shown a face or a house, random order, 400 millisecond each, with 400 millisecond interstimulus blank screen, and patients reported an upside down house. But it's only mentioned, only mentioned once. Why? Anyway, you might look at that data set instead of trying to load the, the, all of them in the drop down menu. Let's modify the code quickly. Won't be quick, would it? <laughs> it's always just say let's do something quickly in the. Uh, 10 hours later, and ba, 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 let's see, task application. Okay, so we'll be looking at the specific task. It's called the imagery basic. Yeah, obviously, after we know what the each uh, task is, we would not uh, be doing uh, uh, comparing between tasks, I think that's uh, um, too much uh, to ask. We'll be doing a Vivin task uh, comparison. Yeah, we are not playing Minecraft through EEG, well, not yet. Trying to do something way more basic. Just looking at this data set show. So at least those are implanted electrodes. So they should uh, produce a uh, clean EEG. But maybe still we don't. Maybe we still don't want to look at the motor tasks. Because they might be inducing some artifacts. So we'll be looking at. Yeah, this one here. And we essentially simply will be just trying to do a better version, um, like an interactive uh, a thingy a for interactive thing, 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 oh, come on, <laughs> interactive flask uh, application that um, essentially will be showing this figure, but um, obviously this will be just uh, one uh, patient. Yes, we will start from one patient. So we have the above description of this specific task, and it's wrong. Which basic particle activity during motor execution, motor imagery. Blah blah blah. No, that's it's not the right file. Is this the one with the houses and faces? There's nothing in figures. We have location. We have how many patients? Seven. Why do we only have seven? It's a speech basic imagery. Ah, sorry, it's called the um, 
faces basically sorry for that which one is this why do i have a feeling that this data set will be super messy faces basic yeah this one yes we have this description it's by the way all the data set is creative comments uh, creative commons so it should be good to be used still trying to figure out why there's only seven fun uh, seven subjects they meant to be 14 and the tasks are called the uh, different things in different places uh, yeah i'm trying to figure out that but supposedly we are in the correct fo folder it's called faces basic yeah okay long story short we would like to update the code that we have everything html javascript python to load this specific data set um, and load the um, raw eg data to begin with or just or just say essentially just to see what is in the data files okay instead of loading the eg data we just want to see at first stage what is in the data files uh, so essentially we will have we will need on the front panel an option to select uh, a patient from this uh, specific uh, that did this specific task based on the folder and file structure provided and show what does the data contain that files contain uh, we do not need the tasks uh, drop down we'll be looking at a specific task it's called the faces basic it's one that comparing uh, data recorded for when the patient is looking at images of houses and then faces so i'd like to update this page to do this and later we'll update the javascript as well now it's not a motor task again it doesn't matter yeah we do have the patients we have yes yeah, so we'll have just the one drop down for the patient we need to populate it from the folder structure this will be too long wouldn't it so updating the javascript but let's do it again with the workspace uh, handle we'll say too long yeah so each patient has a separate uh, mat file it's where the data is stored you can use load data by script in the utilities directory to load the data that's right okay can we modify load data to read the mod files and convert them into a python data file so we have a load the mod no we won't be plotting here we'll be plotting in another file and then ideally we won't be doing it in python will be process data and then uh, plotting in javascript yeah so turning it into an array okay we want the base path that's correct uh, we don't need to predict anything at the moment do we need to process the data so we have a get uh, get request uh, it's called all data and it has a subject id we need to pop populate the subject ids first yeah, patient code is fine. The patient code should be in. Should we have it in JavaScript or not? What why is it hallucinating stuff? Put the yeah load patient data all underscored un, underscores underscores. How do I? do that yeah in general we want to rely more on the front uh, front end but obviously the data is at the back end so yeah we need to process data we need to populate a patient code uh, shall we have 
in info text for each patient we have uh, two folders one with uh, and yeah, let's start with uh, populating the patient code numbers because they should appear in this drop down menu gpt4 becoming super slow super slow 